It's time for KRGB Channel 5's Masterminds, a program geared towards Valley High School academics. With your host, Tim Smith. Today in round two competition, Sherry Lynn Advanced High School and Edinburgh High School match wits in their quest to become this year's Masterminds champion. Hey everybody, welcome to Masterminds. It is round two competition today, Sherilyn Advance in Edinburgh. Let's get right to it with our quick start questions for today's students. Hands on your buzzers. Let's get going. We start with a math question. 222.125 divided by 5. And time is up, 44.425. Spell paroxysm, paroxysm, Edinburgh Brian. P-A-R-A-X-I-S-M? No. Sherlyn Advanced Isaac. P-A-R-A-X-I-S-M. No, it's P-A-R-O-X-Y-S-M, paroxysm. What is the square root of 2x to the 8th power over 7y to the 10th power? That's Edinburgh Brian. Um, X to the fourth over Y to the fifth times the square root of two over seven? No. Should I anybody? And times up. Four X to the sixteenth power over forty nine Y to the twentieth power. One more math question. What is the product of twenty five and sixteen? And Sherilyn advanced Isaac. Four hundred. That's correct. The world's greatest tides may be found near Nova Scotia in what body of water? That's Sherilyn Isaac. The Atlantic Ocean? No. no. Edinburgh, anybody? All right, Brian. The Pacific Ocean? That's the Bay of Fundy is what it is. The amount of spectral shift can be used to determine the temperature, weight, distance, or mass of a star. Sherilyn Isaac. Um, weight. No? Edinburgh Brian. Distance? Yes. The majority of our sun is composed of what element? That's <coughs> Sherilyn Isaac. Hydrogen. Yes, that's right. In what mountain area did Rip Van Winkle fall asleep? That's Sherilyn Isaac. The Appalachians? No. Edinburgh, I'm not sure who rang in. Um, the Himalayas? No, it was the Catskills. Darius was a leader of what ancient civilization that competed with Greece? Sherilyn Isaac. Sorry, Sharon, somebody else has to ring in from the other team now. Edinburgh, Brian. The Romans? No, Persia. The popular science fiction term for faster than light travel is blank speed. That's Edinburgh, Brian. Light speed? No. Sharon Isaac. Hyperspeed? No, it's warp. Warp speed. And that wraps up our quick start for today. Masterminds is supported in part by Navy Army Community Credit Union. So after a quick start, it is Sherilyn Advance 20, Edinburgh 10. Let's take a moment and meet our judge who's here again this week from the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Noreen Rivetta. Dr. Rivetta is assistant professor in the Department of Literatures and Cultural Studies. Dr. Rivetta, we're glad that you're here. Thanks for being part of the program. Give her a round of applause. She's working hard over here. <laughs> All right, before we get to hot topics, let's meet the team from Edinburgh. We'll start with uh, Katie. Hi, my name is Katie Hill. Tell something about yourself. Oh, um, I'm an Edinburgh High School Bobcat. Very good. We're glad you're here. Thank uh, you. Brian? Hi, um, my name is Brian Lopez. Um, I'm in the chess club, uh, mock trial, choir, um, and a National Honor Society. Terrific. Welcome. Uh, hi, my name is Andres Salazar. I'm in varsity tennis, uh, NTHS, BPA, and HOSA. Terrific. Welcome to the team of Edinburgh High School participating in the Masterminds today. All right, it's time for your hot topics, okay? Three questions about current events. You don't need your buzzers on this. It's just you guys playing by yourselves, all right? Take the first answer that I hear from the team. Here we go. The U.S. Special Counsel has indicted 13 Russian nationals and three Russian entities for meddling in the 2016 presidential election. Name the Special Counsel. And time is up. Robert Mueller is who that was. 
What company is launching two experimental satellites to test out its plans to deliver high-speed internet to the world using thousands of small satellites? Germany? No, it's SpaceX. What Olympic figure skater was announced as a new commentator for NBC, only to have him change his mind later saying he was flattered but didn't want to leave his U.S. teammates at the Olympic Village? And time was up. Adam Rippon, that's who that was. All right, we stand at 10 points now. Sherryland advanced. Let's meet the team. We'll start right here on this end. Hi, um, my name is Renee. I am a junior for Sherryland advanced. I am in band. I, this is my third year in Masterminds. Fantastic. Glad you're here. Uh, my name is Isaac, and um, I'm a senior, and I'm in Masterminds, Hosa, and uh, Chess. Terrific. Welcome. Um, my name is Nathaniel. I'm a senior. I'm in UIL Current Events, uh, Social Studies, and I should have combed my hair. <laughs> well, we're glad you're here, nonetheless. Hair combed or uncombed. The team from Sherland Advanced. All right, it's time for your hot topics now. Again, same thing, three questions, current events. Don't need your buzzers in this. Take the first answer we hear. Here we go. Within 5%, how effective has this year's flu vaccine been, according 10%. to the U.S. Centers for Disease Control? 10%. No, it was 36%. We've taken 31 to 41. What's the name of the fictitious, fully autonomous African nation brought to Wakanda. life in the movie Black Panther? I'm sorry? Wakanda? That's correct. The last blockbuster store in the continental U.S. closed recently. In what city was it located? Anchorage. No, it was in Edinburgh, Texas. It was where the last one was in the continental U.S. But got you up to 30 points, so now the score is Sherilyn Advanced 30, Edinburgh 10. We're going to take a break. We come back, we'll meet the teacher coordinators, do quick picks in the grab bag, that and more. Masterminds continues right after the break. Welcome back to Masterminds Round 2 competition today. Sherland advanced in Edinburgh High School. Right now, Sherland in the lead, 30 to 10. I want to take a moment and meet the teacher coordinators in the two schools. We'll start with Edinburgh and Brian. You're up. Um, this is Mr. Stroop, our coordinator. He's the teacher for statistics as well as the chess club sponsor. Terrific. Welcome. Glad you're here. We appreciate it. And Sherland advanced. Isaac. Um, Mr. Piazak is the U.S and world history teacher, and he sponsors uh, current events and uh, history UAL. Fantastic, welcome, appreciate you being here. Masterminds alum yourself, glad to have you here, sir. All right, it's time for quick picks now, students. We're gonna show you pictures on your television screen. We'll ask you questions about each one. Everybody's playing, you do need your buzzers on this. So here we go. This is the only royal palace you'll find in the United States of America. In what state will you find it? Sherilyn Renee. Hawaii. That's correct. Was the Taj Mahal built in the 15th 16th or 17th century? Shannon Advanced Isaac. 16th. No. Edinburgh, anybody? Brian. 15th. Nope, one left, 17th is what it was. What type of insect is this? Shannon Isaac. Praying mantis. That's right. The country flying this flag has more people than any other country in the world. Shannon Advanced Isaac. China. That's right. The name dandelion comes from the French Don't de Lyon. What would be the English translation? That's Shannon Advanced Renee. Lion's paw. No. Edinburgh, anybody? And time is of lion's tooth. Don de Leon. Bamboo is the major food source for what popular Asian animal? That's Sherlin Isaac. Um, giant panda. Is that the giant panda? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Less specific, the panda, but that'll work fine. Nimbus clouds are dense with what substance? Sherlin Isaac. Ice crystals? No. Edinburgh? Time is up. Water, just water. What's the dried flesh of a coconut called? Shannon Isaac. Husk. No? Edinburgh, anyone? And time is up. Copra. Most parrots are native to what hemisphere? That's Shannon Advanced Isaac. Southern. That's correct. What type of bridge is the Golden Gate Bridge? Shannon Renee. Sorry? Suspension bridge. That's exactly right. And that wraps up our quick picks for today. Masterminds is supported in part by Navy Army Community Credit Union. So after quick picks, the score is Sheridan and Advanced 90, Edinburgh 10. That means Edinburgh, you get to go first in the grab bag round. Dr. Rivetta has three envelopes wished to choose. You can choose any one you want, one, two, or three. Number three it is. You've got 60 seconds to answer the 10 questions in this envelope, okay? Say pass if you don't know one. You don't need your buzzers on this. We will take the first answer that we hear from the team, okay? We'll take the first answer we hear. Your category is economics. Economics. You're going to identify these terms, okay? Here we go. Association of Workers Organized to Improve Wages for its Members. 
Workers Union? Yes. Large corporation made up of smaller corporations. A co op? No. Contract in which one business sells to another the right to use its name and sell its products. Copyright? No. A plan adjusting expenses to fix income for a certain period. Pass. A property used by a borrower to secure a loan. Collateral? Yes. The union of two or more independent corporations. A trust? No. Failure to pay a debt when it's due. Pass. A 12-month period for which a corporation plans the use of its funds. Fiscal year? Yes. Any of the business that sells goods directly to individuals. And time is up. All right, got three correct. Let's take a look at the others. Large corporation made up of smaller corporations is a conglomerate. A contract in which one business sells another the right to use its name and products is a franchise. A plan adjusting expenses to fixed income for a certain period is a budget. The union of two more independent corporations is a merger. Failure to pay a debt when it's due is a default. And any business that sells goods to individuals is retail business is what that was. All right, Sharon in advance. It's your turn now. Two envelopes remain, one and two. You can use whichever one you'd like. We'll take two. Number two. All right. Same rule, 60 seconds, 10 questions. Pass if you don't know one. Your category is state capitals. All right, state capitals. I like that look of excitement. That's good. All right, let's see how we do. What state capital comes first alphabetically? Mm. Pass. What's the easternmost U.S. state capital? Pass. Which capital is found west of Dayton and south of South Bend? Austin? No. What U.S. state capital is named for the discoverer of America? Columbus. Yes. Name the capital of the state that is known as America's Dairyland and the Badger State. Um, pass. In what city is the main campus of the University of Nebraska? Lincoln. Yes. Which state capital is nor north of Pierre and west of Fargo? Bismarck. Yes. What southern city is thought to have been named for the Western and Atlantic Railroad? Mm, pass. What's the southernmost capital in the continental U.S.? Miami? Mm -hmm. No. Which of these cities is far the south? Atlanta, Jackson, Montgomery, or Little Rock? Time is up. All right, we got three correct, the same as before. The city that comes first alphabetically of the capitals is Albany. The easternmost U.S. capital is Augusta. The capital city that's west of Dayton and south of South Bend is Indianapolis. The capital of the state that's known as America's Dairyland and the Badger State is Madison. That's Wisconsin. The southern city is thought to have been named for the Western and Atlantic Railroad is Atlanta. The southernmost capital city in the continental U.S. is Austin. And the farthest south of Atlanta, Jackson, Montgomery, Little Rock is Jackson. Puts you up to 105 points to hold the lead. Now it's time for the envelope, which no one chose. Number one. Let's find out if you're glad you didn't choose it or you wish you would have, right? This category is, well, we don't know. It's potpourri. Could be anything, all right? Ten questions. You need your buzzers on this. We're all playing. Here we go. What do we call unweaned puppies? The time is up there. Whelps. Which three-word rhyming aphorism means that the strongest are always correct? That's Sherilyn Nate Nathaniel. Might equals right. Take that. Might makes right. That'll work, yes. Similar to a jellyfish, the man of war was named for what? Sherilyn Isaac. Portuguese uh, helmets. No. Did not anybody? The time is up. A type of ship. What name is given to percentiles that are multiples of 25? Edinburgh Bryant. Quarters. I'm sorry? Quarters. No. Sharon and Isaac. Quartiles? Yes. Which Chrysler SUV shares its name with a Colorado ski resort? The time is up. That's Aspen. Which chess piece is most often sacrificed as a gambit? in a gambit? Edinburgh Bryant. The Queen? No. And time is up. And Renee, I don't know what were you going to say. Vaughn would have been right, but it was too late. So our score stands at Sherland Advance 125, Edinburgh 25. We're going to take a break. When we come back, it'll be time for art and music. Each question worth 20 points. Don't go away.
Welcome back to Masterminds. It is round two competition today. It's Sherland Advanced and Edinburgh. Right now, Sherland's in the lead, 125 to 25. It's time for art and music. We'll start with top art. Ask you to identify the piece that you're about to see, the artist or the work. This is for 20 points. The name of the artist or the work. That's Sherilyn Isaac. Casa? No, it's not Casa. All right, Ed McBrain. Monet. That is Monet. Haystack is Giverny. Claude Monet. Let's try the next one. This is also for 20 points. And time is up. Village on the Banks of the Seine by Alfred Sisley. That's Sisley. Okay, we're one for two on art. Let's try music. For this, listen carefully. Identify the composer or the work. This also for 20 points. The composer or the work. <laughs> All right, Charlotte Isaac. Chopin. It's Chopin, that's right. Cherzo number one in B minor is correct. We have one more now, also for 20 points. <clears throat> All right, Sherilyn Isaac. Strauss. No, it's not Strauss. Edinburgh, any bummer? Try it. All right, Brian. Beethoven? Beethoven? No, nope, this is Verdi. Il Travatore with Gypsy's Chorus from Verdi. All right, so we move up a little bit. The score is now 145 to 45. We're going to take a break. It'll be time for the final stretch when we come back. Don't want to miss it. Don't go away. Welcome back to Masterminds. It is round two competition today. Sherland advanced at 145. Edinburgh is at 45. It's time for the final stretch. We're going to ask questions until that final bell rings. Whoever's leading that bell rings moves on to the next round. So everybody plays. Hands on your buzzers. Here we go. Express the following ratio in lowest terms. One gallon to two quarts to two pints. All right, Edinburgh Bryant. Eight pints to four pints to two pints? No. Sherilyn Isaac. Eight to four to one. No, it was four to two to one is what it was. Identify the profession of Italian Nobel Prize winner Salvatore Quasimodo. Sherilyn Isaac. Chemist. No? Edinburgh, anybody? All right, Brian. Artist? No, he's a poet. He's a poet. It's not unusual for men to be driven to drink over the unre unre unrequited love for a woman. But what happened to Lancelot, who loved Guinevere? That time was up, he became a monk. Which term meaning a falling away is generally used to designate a state or a period of decline, especially in art, morals, and literature? Chandler Isaac. Degeneration? No. Edinburgh, anybody? And time is up. Decadence. Period of decadence. The Pont du Gard, erected in the first century BC, is a triumph of Roman engineering, spanning more than 82 feet across the river in the province of re, province region of France. It's made up of uncemented blocks. Besides serving as a bridge, what is its function? That's Sherilyn Rene. Transport water. Yes, it's an aqueduct. What southwestern state never goes on daylight savings time? That's Sherilyn Isaac. Arizona. That's correct. Name any two of the three pieces of protective gear that target shooters wear. That's Sherilyn Rene. Earmuffs. And? Two Safety glasses. I'm sorry? Safety glasses. Yes, that's right. The other is a shooting coat. The Athenian Thucyd Thucydides, the Athenian Thucydides wrote the famous history of the Peloponnesian War, about 400 B.C. Perhaps the most famous passage of this history is the funeral oration for some young Athenian soldiers. Who delivered this oration? And time is up, Pericles. Define and spell peripatetic. All right, Edward Bryan. P A R A P A T E T I C. No. Sure, let me know to try it. Oh, shaking their heads, no. Peripatetic, it means moving about from place to place or walking about. It's P-E-R-I-P-A-T-E-T-I-C. 
peripatetic new word for your vocabulary. Mine too. War of 1812, we've got four questions about it. Which of the two major U.S. parties, the hyphenated one, was most strongly in favor of the war? That's Edinburgh Bryan. Um, Republican Democrats? Yes. It's the other way around, but yes. Among the causes of the war was seizure by the British of American ships in aid of? Chairman Isaac. Mm-hmm. Nope. Edinburgh Bryan. Yes, or Napoleon, yes. Oliver Hazard Perry wrote, We have met the enemy and they are ours after victory at Lake Erie. What general and future president did he write it to? That's Edward Bryan. George Washington? No. Sherilyn uh, Nathaniel. Andrew Jackson. No, it was William Henry Harrison. One more. At what convention of December 1814 to January 1815 did New England states threaten secession? All right, Edward Bryan. The Annapolis Convention? No. Sharon Lee Bryan? I'll shake the hands. No time is up. Hartford. Hartford Connection. Diastrophism is a process which affects what? Edinburgh Bryan. The brain? I'm sorry? The brain? No. Sharon Lee Bryan? All right, uh, Isaac. The intestines? No, the Earth's crust. So the deformation of the crust produces mountains and valleys. Diastrophism. What ancient Chinese martial art has been shown to improve balance in elderly adults, leading to a decrease? Sherilyn Isaac. Yoga? No. Uh, Edinburgh, Andre, Andrews. Tai Chi? Yes. A new NBC News Marist poll found that majorities in three key states that helped, helped tip the election for President Trump now that say they feel embarrassed by his conduct in office. Name any one of them. That's Sherilyn Nathaniel. Michigan. Yes, the others were Pennsylvania and Wisconsin. What federal law enforcement agency said it cannot pay hundreds of agents to protect President Trump and his large family? That's Sherilyn Nathaniel. The Secret Service. That's correct. What group initially took credit for the horrific bombing at Barcelona that killed at least 13 people? That's Sherilyn Nathaniel. The Islamic State? No. Edinburgh? And uh, ISIS. Just ISIS. What country's been firing missiles into the Sea of Japan and other bodies of water? It's, that's uh, Sherilyn Advanced Isaac. North Korea? Yes. In his August 21st speech, President Trump singled out what Asian country for harboring terrorists despite taking American dollars in aid? Sherilyn Nathaniel. Yes. While he never said he lied, he apologized for over-exaggerating his account of events. Name this athlete who fled Rio while his teammates were detained by police for questioning. Sherilyn Nathaniel. Ryan Locke. Yes, Locke team. In 2019, this team will occupy the most expensive stadium ever built. This $2.6 billion facility is under construction on the site of a former Walmart in Inglewood, California, city of Sherilyn Isaac. Chargers? No. All right, Edinburgh Andres. The Raiders? No, it's the Los Angeles Rams. Before she ran for president, was the first woman to head one of Fortune Magazine's top 20 companies. She was the first woman to one, head one of Fortune Magazine's top 20 companies. Sherilyn Isaac. Purina? Yes. Now we're cutting down those forests, leaving in their place either bare, ravaged earth, or fields planted with crops that, in nearly all cases, fail after a few seasons. This passage refers to what kind of biome? That's Sherilyn Isaac. Rainforest. Yes. He's still the face most Americans want to see added to Mount Rushmore and can you, continues to top the Gallup polls as the greatest U.S. president. Who was this 20th century president in office for just about a thousand days? Sherilyn Renee. JFK. Yes, that's correct. What word was dropped from the names of these administrative units of the USSR in 1990? Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia, Armenia, and Georgia. Sherilyn Renee. Berg. No. Didn't look anybody. That time is up. Soviet. Why are winters warmer in London, England than in London, Ontario, even though Ontario's London is nearly 600 miles farther south? That's Sherilyn Renee. Water currents. Sir? Water currents. Yeah, that'll work. Yes, the Gulf Stream heads up that way toward London, England. It's the only football team in the NFL that's not retired any numbers and instead honors players by recording them in their ring of honor in its stadium. What Super Bowl winning team so honors Don Meredith, Bob Lilly, Roger Staubach. Time is up. You were going to say Dallas Cowboys. I know you're going there, but it's too late. The final score, Sherland advanced 265, Edinburgh 75. That means Sherland advanced and moved on to the next round of competition. I want to thank all of our students for their preparation and all their work to be here today. I want to thank our judge here today, Dr. Rivetta. Thank you for your hard work. We appreciate that. All right, Sherland advanced. We'll see you in the next round.
We'll see you home next week for another exciting competition of Masterminds. Thank you.